What's going on guys, Dracker Plays here, and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can stream with an upload speed of below 1 Mbps, so stick around for the details. Before we begin, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to get future updates. So let's begin. Hey guys, what's going on? Dracker Plays here, and today I'm going to show you how you can live stream with an upload speed of less than 1 Mbps. So now we're currently at speedtest.net, and we're going to go ahead and check our internet, right? So uh, let's go ahead and press go. So now it's going to show us our ping. So we usually get between 15 to 20 ping, and that's usually the average. Now it's calculating the download speed. And the average that I usually get is between 10 to 12. Not bad for internet, I guess. And uh, once it's done, it's now going to calculate for our upload speed. So for the upload speed, I usually get an average between 0.6 to 0.80. And uh, that's really bad if you want to go streaming, especially if you go high quality. But I'm going to show you guys how you can stream with this internet. So guys, we had our upload speed a while ago at 0.80 right so uh, we're gonna fix that so that we'll be able to live stream so what we need to do is just click on settings here and let's go to stream now you will see here that your youtube account is connected same as with mine or with any other platform like facebook for example so you have to connect that one so that streamlabs and youtube will be the one to communicate with each other okay next is we're gonna go to output so for the output mode we have to have it in advance now for the audio track encoder, it will always be on software X264, right? For the weight control, it will be on CBR. And for the bitrate, remember a while ago where we had 0.80 as our upload speed? We need to multiply that by a thousand and we're gonna get 800, right? But just to be on the safe side so that we won't have any drop frames, let's cut it down to around 600. Now what you need to do next is check the box that says use custom buffer size. And with the buffer size, it has to match our bitrate. So which is also 600, right? So that's about it for the output. Now we go next to video. For the video here, our base resolution would be uh, the resolution of your monitor. So my monitor is on 1920 by 1080. So I have to pick that one But for the output resolution. This is actually the stream now on how the resolution is on your stream. You can't go 1920 by 1080 because that will really give you dropped frames like sure 100% drop rate, drop frames, sorry. So we have to go through 852 by 480 and that is the standard definition, right? Some might get away with 960 by 540, but just to be on the safe side, let's go 852 by 480, okay? For the downscale filter, we choose by cubic, sharpen scaling, 16 samples. Some might use by linear, fastest, but it gets blurry while it, it's scaling. So this is the best one. FPS type is common FPS value. And for the common FPS value, always put it under 30 frames per second. But if it gets really, really bad, you can go with 24 frames per second. All right, so that's about it with video. Next, uh, we go to advance. For the advanced process priority should be above normal. Color format should be NV12. The YUV color space should be 709 instead of 601. And the YUV color range should always be full. Also, please check the box here that says to force GPU as a render device. Next is we're gonna to go to stream delay. Enable stream delay and make sure you type in 10 as the duration. Automatic reconnect, have that enabled and the retrade, retry delay should always be at 10 with the maximum of 20 retries, of course. And that's about it for advanced. Now let's go to the last one, which is scene collections. And uh, you know how it is when you uh, put in a new overlay, right? It usually gets backed up and saved to the cloud of Streamlabs. And that actually uses partial of your upload speed. 
which is quite bad because it's gonna run through uh, the entire while you're streaming so it's gonna take up the upload speed gonna make your stream more laggy and more frames will be dropped so in order for us to avoid that one just click the box here and then it requires an app restart so what the what it does is it does not back up the media files in the cloud so that should be good for now and once you're done you just press on the done button and that should be good right so that's how you can stream with an internet below than 1 mbps as an upload speed hope you guys learned something today and uh, thanks for watching the video so guys that's how you can actually stream with very bad internet and an upload speed of below 1 mbps and if this video helped you in any way don't forget to leave a thumbs up share the video subscribe to our youtube channel and click that notification bell to get future updates once again this has been Drakkar Place. See you in our next video.